What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix the Logitech G Hub, specifically when it will not launch. Now, this just happened to me a few hours ago. And uh, what happened was I, uh, if you're like me, I have it set to launch when my computer starts up and it wasn't launching. So I went to my Windows search and I typed in Logitech G Hub. And when I clicked on here, it said that Windows couldn't find it which I found very odd. So I went to my settings, I uninstalled it, and then I reinstalled it from LG or Logitech's website. And even after reinstalling it, it still gave me the same issue, which I found very odd. But luckily I was able to fix it by using a very helpful app called Revo Uninstaller. So just go to Google, and once Google opens, go ahead and type Revo Uninstaller. There it is there, Revo Uninstaller, and we are gonna click the second link here, the one from CNET, because that's the free version. You're gonna click on this green download button here. And then once it opens, it's gonna go ahead and download it here. It's gonna play an ad, but you don't really have to watch it. It's just gonna start downloading it right away. So you can just pause the ad and there's the setup file. So once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and open it if you want. But I was a little bit nervous of it because it is a straight exe file. So I decided that I would scan it with my antivirus of choice, which is a vast. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan it just to show you guys that there are no viruses on this. I just do this with every file I download, even though I already downloaded it again. I'm just gonna scan it again just to be safe. All right, so here's Revo set I'm gonna right click, click scan with a vast. It's gonna go ahead and scan it there. And all right, so no issues found, awesome. Go ahead and close that out. So just go ahead and double click it and set it up. All right guys, now once it's loaded up, it's gonna give you a list of all your installed apps. So you can just go to the search bar up at the top and just start typing in Logitech, there it is. So you're just gonna go ahead and double click on it and it's going to uninstall it. Now, this is going to do the same sort of thing that would happen if you went to your settings and uninstalled it, but what's good about this app is not only does it uninstall the app, but it also gives you more options to uninstall registry registry items that it makes, as well as extra junk files that it leaves behind, which in this case is what's stopping it from launching again after downloading it. So once it's done, it's gonna give you a different scanning choice. Go ahead and click Advanced, and then click Scan. And what this is doing is it's scanning your computer for those extra files that I talked about earlier. Now here they are, as you can see, they are in the registry. Now yours might look a little different. There might be some other files available. What you need to know is that you don't wanna uh, click on any of the files that are labeled in red. Only click on the files and highlight the ones that have this little blue puzzle piece or ones that have these little blue cubes and definitely don't click on any of the ones in red because this is your registry and you don't wanna delete anything that could harm your computer. So just check mark this, it check marks all the uh, things it can delete, and then just click delete, and then click yes, and then click next. Now this is just a bunch of extra cache files and junk files that are left over. Select all, and then click delete, and then click yes. And it's that simple. So now it has been completely uninstalled. So we're going to go ahead and close out of um, the Revo uninstaller, go back to Google, and let's go ahead and reinstall the G Hub. All right, here we are Logitech G Hub Advanced Gaming Software. So advanced, it apparently even uninstalls itself. So let's go ahead and click Download for Windows or Mac. So I'm going to download for Windows. And as you can see, there it is down there. And it's going to take a little bit to install, but once it is, just go ahead and launch it. All right guys, now Logitech has finished installing the G-Hub, so now we are in and it is working just as it should. It's also showing up down here in my G-Hub, or in, in the little uh, the little task bar here. So we're gonna go ahead and just launch it real quick and it's gonna tell us what's new. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any other uh, patch notes here for the, the bug that we just experienced, but uh, luckily it has worked. So I'm just gonna go and click yes on that and just uh, X out and now we are in it. So now I can go ahead and change. Unfortunately, you will have to reset your DPI settings. Uh, luckily for me, it's not it's not too hard. You know, I, I play at 900 DPI and then my lighting, all I really have to do is make it a little faster and that's pretty much it. And then I'm done. So now I'm back to where I was. I know it will be quite annoying if uh, you have a lot of profiles or a lot of different Logitech, uh, like if you have a Logitech keyboard and a bunch of other stuff, it's gonna be a little bit annoying to do this stuff, but at least you can get the G Hub back up and running. So anyways, hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, please be sure to leave a like. If you liked it a lot, subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.